Good morning, guys. This is John. Uh, someone's having a hard time opening up files. I have opened all of my files right now. Some are unzipped and some are zipped. I sent some of the files to my desktop, which I have a zipped shortcut here. It's teapot. Our brother's uh, zipped file, which is uh, Baby Poo, and I have one that's unzipped, which is a Simpson uh, embroidery design. And I have my Futura program opened. There's nothing in it. And the best way to open up these files is go up to Files in your left hand corner, click on it, Open Design. and a box will open. From there it will tell you, ask you where to look in. It automatically opens up into the last place that you have looked. If you click on the arrow button down, you can see all different things and it will say desktop. You go to your desktop and it will have what's on your desktop. Uh, and I want to do all embroidery files. Uh, and it does not show them as being on my desktop. So if it does not show them being on your desktop, the best way to do that is to close that, go back to your files that you have on your desktop, open up your files and put them in a place where it, you can easily find them. Uh, I would put them in either my documents, which then at that time I can make a new folder, a new folder, and put Embroidery and enter. And what I'll do is I will put this into a smaller window and I will take the ones that I need and I will drag and drop them right into that embroidery folder that way they're all where I have easy access to them. Now what I'll do is I'll open up that embroidery folder, open up my window larger so I can see what I'm doing, and I can open up the teapot, I can open up the brothers, and open that up even further, and they all seem to be working fine right there so I will minimize that reopen my tutorial program again go to files open designs remove where I put them and you can do that by looking under here it's libraries documents my documents embroidery it tells you the path that, which that you put them in so what I'll do is I'll go to Libraries, Documents, Embroidery, and here they are. And if I go All Files, it will open up all of the embroidery, embroidery files. You have to make sure that it's on the all embroidery files because you don't know exactly what format sometimes that you download them in and the all embroidery files will tell you exactly uh, what you will open all of them no matter what format they're in. Then I can open up the Simpson one and just by clicking on one it gives you a preview of what uh, is that picture of. And you have the numbers uh, for each file. This is 
1007-1. So the 1007 is basically all of the same Simpsons, but then the last three digits are the are different embroidery designs. You have 02, 03, and it shows you exactly in your preview window what they are. Okay, I like this one. It's a really cute one. What I'll do is I'll to, to view it, it's one click. To open it up, it's a double click. And it'll automatically open that into there. And you can go up to your view and do a realistic view. And it'll show you what it will look like stitched out. You can also go to your view and do a redraw. With the redraw, it has a play button and you can play it and it will actually play out the stitches of how it will stitch out right in front of you. And you can speed up the uh, how fast that does that also. With that little bar there, it will speed it right up so it stitches it out really quickly. And I can even do it quicker. And that is the max. Now to get out of this and go back to where you were, click view again, click redraw, and it'll go back to where you were. Now for me to stitch this out, I just do my normal click on the little sewing machine. I it's not going to work right now because I do not have my laptop hooked up to my uh, to my sewing machine. Uh, but that is basically how you can open up files. Uh, you can minimize this, and you can open up a new design or open a new design. But you always want to make sure that it's all embroidery files and. I have them in several different places. One of the my, where I have most of my uh, embroidery designs is right in the download, and in my download, I have it open in large icons, which you can have it in different uh, view ones on how you view your files, also, or you can have it list. Uh, and from there, I can look at all of my files that I have even the ones that I've created myself I did a patch I did uh, patriotic you know there's different little ones that you can there's butterflies but all of mine are basically right in the uh, one folder and if I double click on that cracker it will open up and you can view it in realistic view and it's a nice simple little project and you can go into your tools to see what size hoop it's in the large hoop right now so and if you wanted to add to this and put someone's name on the bottom say happy 4th of July Susie or Mark, you can do that and just and an easy way of doing that instead of going into your hyper font is there is also a lettering. If you go there, that will open up your lettering. It's under create. You have a design library lettering in draw package. I go to the lettering and I can just put in uh can just type in. Oh, another thing that you want to do is look at which one you have Arial, Block Large, Script. Uh, I think I'm going to probably just do about the same block that they have is the Wide. And I will just type in.